So you've got the Unirom disc, which you burned yourself because you can't really buy this. And you've got various, hopefully various, uh, parallel port cheat devices and not just one. I'm going to show you how to determine if these will actually work on your PlayStation. So I'm not going to go over how to burn the disc. Uh, there are plenty of videos on YouTube and elsewhere, forums, how to burn that stuff. And I'm not going to go over how to connect these to your PlayStation. You have to have an original, an original PlayStation. Um, I mean, if, if you have a parallel port and these hook up to it, then they hook up to it. If not, they don't. What I'm going to show you is how to determine if your PlayStation is able to flash Unirom to them. And I'm also not going to go through how to get your PlayStation to boot a uh, burn, burn disc because, again, there are a lot of videos about that. So I'm just going to show you uh, if they can or cannot and how to determine that. So once you've got Unirom booted up, um, if you press uh, R2, it detects the EEP ROM and unknown will come up if it can't actually read what type of chip you've got on there and all four F's uh, this is a uh, uh, hex I'm not gonna go into all that but if it's if it's two F's and two more F's you have nothing plugged in so that means you, you can't flash it you got nothing to plug into to flash I'm gonna go through the ones that I'm not able to flash myself this is the game enhancer 2 I can't flash this in the same, pretty much the same form factor as the rest of the devices. Most of them you have to have up. Down is just off or bypass and up is on. So let's hook this up and then we will detect it. All right, so I'm gonna press R2 and as you notice that has changed. Uh, from F to B, which means that it did it did detect that there is a device in there, but again, unknown, I can't flash that. Uh, so if I go to start ROM selection menu, it'll read out from uh, the disk itself all the available flash ROMs, or ROMs you can flash. You almost always want to choose the standalone or the plug-in. Now I'm going to press X and not detected it, because it doesn't know what it is. So I'm gonna go start, exit again, pull this one out, and press R2 again, and all four Fs. So this guy, this one is out. You can't use this. Uh, the Power Replay 3, not sure if this is an official, unofficial device, but same form factor again as the other ones. Check this one. That one slides in pretty easy. R2. Again, unknown. But we've got some other numbers. Don't worry about what those mean. If it says unknown, you can't you can't flash it. So we yank that out. R2 again, all Fs. Game Hunter. CD version. No idea what that means, CD version. Again, it's a cartridge that says CD version. I was hoping this one was going to work because it's clear. Uh, this one is a bit of a tight fit in the back. Ah, we'll get it in. R2. Again, you have some different numbers. That's not going to work. you got to pay attention to unknown. That's what you got to look for. So the one, sadly, I mean happily it's clear, that's what I'm going for. I love the way it looks, even action replay, pro action replay. Uh, this one actually does read out, however the device itself is faulty, which is kind of a bummer. So there we go, you have a name right there. And you see as soon as I, as soon as I refreshed it, it started bugging out now. I've looked into this being some sort of fault on the PlayStation itself, the one that I'm using, or the AV out, and it's actually not. It's something to do with the device itself. 
I don't know if it's affecting the system or the video out, but this thing is is wonky. There you go, it's glitching slightly. I press start. Can't get it to do much with the standalone, so we'll go with the plug-in. Press X to upgrade, and this is what you will see. Um, and it won't flash anything that is too big because it'll read how much memory it can flash. If it's too big, it simply won't do it. Uh, exit this menu. There we go, reset PlayStation. Press the circle. And this is what you get when it does work. And don't buy this. Um, this is Sickle's um, disclaimer, I guess. X continue. Fastboot is what I always use if I want to boot something, homebrew or whatnot. That is how you flash your parallel PlayStation cheat devices. And if you flash it, you can't uh, use it as a game shark or anything else. Um, you can reflash them as far as what's on the Unirom disk if you want to reflash them as some sort of cheat device. But if you can't reflash them at all, or you can't flash them in the first place, then you have to, you don't really have a choice. You have to stick to what it originally does. And there is no hard, definite list of what can and cannot be flashed with this. You kind of, if you have one, and you have a PlayStation, and you can get it to boot, and then find your ROM and get that to boot, then you can detect if these things, if you're able to flash them or not. But that's a very specific subset of people that have these things. So that's why I'm doing this video. If you have a bunch of these like, like I do, I went through a bunch of trouble to see if I could flash them and I thought I was doing something wrong. It's not you, it is actually the devices are not flashable. Like the video if you like the video, subscribe to see more of my ramblings, and press thumbs down if I suck. Go try to flash your devices, have fun.